welcome to another episode of the Gum and Raw. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to be continuing on from the previous episode where we did the masking and base coat on this Toyota RAV4. I'm going to start off by giving it a quick tap rag. Oh mate, this is going to come up good. I can tell. Oh man, I'm so much happier about this paint system now. So there was a guy, I think his name's Evan. Evan from Instagram. That's all I can remember, but he's the one that told me to go 30% reducer. But well, I think he actually said viscosity cuts your base coat. The Enviro based base coat. But ever since I did that, I found 30% is probably the best starting point. And I've just been going 30% on everything lately to be honest. And it just dries down so much better. Like I can feel the way that tack rag just slides over, there is no stick at all. So what I was getting previously is dieback. Everywhere the base coat was, it was dieback. For a long time, I thought it was um, solvent foil, because it kind of looks the same, where it's just hazed off a little bit. I should have known that it wasn't though, when I saw it down the sides, like you would get it down the sides, and like you never get solvent foil down the sides. If you put so much clear on that it's solvent boiling, it's going to be running if it's on the side, obviously, you know what I mean? Anyway, we've got, I, um, I put the 1.3 back on this gun here. Previous job, I cleared it with the 1.2 because I'm, I'm currently trialling this gun. It's the A&I Black, if you miss that. Trialling this gun to, um, to do a review on it. Wow, that 1.3, it's really noticeable, the difference in speed. So I found the um, 1.2, obviously a little bit slower, as you would expect, but it, it, it was really good for the matter, because I was the previous job I did was a Mazda and I'm sure everyone knows that they don't put much paint on their Mazda I think I 
might use this gun on that retrain too, but in a 1.2. So this 1.3 throws a lot of material on. I guess it leaves you with a little bit more in steel, but it puts more paint on. Fine for, you know, your average everyday, everyday car, like this. When I do the flow code on that, I want it to be thin and flat. Now I can't wait to get back onto that ring spray after seeing how good that color looks. And it's one of those ones that the photos just don't do it any justice. I'm not sure about the video, but from my experience, with like custom colors, candies and flags, or the candies specifically, like they just don't look quite as good on video as what they do to the naked eye for whatever reason. Hey, but that job's looking good, man. And I mix the 900 mils. So my general rule of thumb is um, 350 for a bonnet, 350 for a bumper, and then 100 mils for a gun of clear coat, right? That gets me up to 900 mils. That's why I mix up 900 mils, and it's looking like I'm going to have a bit left over. So, you know. I'm actually, like on the last job that I did, I had more left over than usual. So, I've been a little bit surprised about that. Like, you would expect, I think I said it before, you'd expect with such high pressure, you would use more paint than what you do, but, no, it doesn't seem to be that way. I've got to have a look at the CSM as well, before I do my review. I could always take it home and, and clear a job with it as well to let you guys know what it's like in the garage because I've been doing loads of garage work lately. I've actually got a Ducati motorbike bearing to paint tonight. That'll be fun. Um, well, that's about it guys. I'll give you a quick look over the job. There you go. There's the A&I Black. Very nice looking gun. It feels nice. It's comfortable. That's a nice factory Toyota looking finish. Nice and clean. Couple of nips, but you got to give the detailer something to do. I'm quite happy with that job, man. It's nothing special. I mean, the car itself is nothing special, but hey, I'm sure the owner would not say that. You know? But I mean, by that, I mean, it's not like a Bentley or, you know, Mercedes Benz or a candy over flake super or anything like that but you know it's still a nice car i like toyota's i could see myself upgrading to one of these road floors one day anyway guys if you want to support the show the best way first off give it a big thumbs up the video and then you can go and check out the merchandise there's a link in the description you can get yourself a government spray suit and there's actually loads more merch that you can buy. Anyway, until the next time, get out there and punch some shit. Gumming out.